How are we doing YouTube? Nick Patap here from Next Gen Rehabilitation. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the medication Candesar. Now, just like any medication video I do, this is not meant to be medical advice. If you do have any medication specific questions, please bring those up with your family doctor. Now, let's start off by talking about what Candesarin does. Candesarin is a medication prescribed to patients with high blood pressure. It falls under the classification of medications known as ARBs or angiotensin receptor blockers. Its mechanism of action is to inhibit the receptor sites for angiotensin II. This is going to reduce vasoconstriction of your arteries, which is going to allow for your blood pressure to come down. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it's typically prescribed to patients with high blood pressure because high blood pressure is a risk factor for developing heart disease. So this is going to reduce your chances of developing heart disease. It may also be prescribed to patients after having a stent, after having a bypass. And it's also typically prescribed to patients that can't tolerate another form of blood pressure medication known as ACE inhibitors. An example of an ACE inhibitor is Ramipril. And some patients may develop a dry cough with this medication, so your doctor may elect to put you onto Candesarin or an ARB instead. Now, what are the main side effects of Candesarin? Typically, patients may develop some dizziness and lightheadedness, so you may be asking, well, is it safe to exercise with this medication? The answer is yes. Uh, you wanna make sure post-exercise, your blood pressure isn't dropping too low and you're not getting dizzy. If you are, you wanna be following up with your doctor. You also wanna monitor how you feel when exercising. Again, if you're getting any dizziness or lightheadedness, or if you're getting any sort of dizziness or lightheadedness throughout the day, you wanna be talking with your family doctor or cardiologist as they may need to adjust the dose of this medication. Now, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please share it and like it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you do like these types of videos. Once again, my name is Nick Pratap from Next Gen Rehabilitation. We'll see you in the next video.